हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग कार्डियक आउटपुट इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट सो कार्डियक आउटपुट इज कैलकुलेटेड बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग हार्ट रेट इनटू स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम सो वी विल डिस्कस फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग हार्ट रेट एंड स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम इंडिविजुअली फर्स्ट कमिंग टू द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम दे आर थ्री फैक्टर्स विच एफेक्ट स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम दैट इज प्री लोड कॉन्ट्रेक्टिलिटी ऑफ द वेंट्रिकल एंड आफ्टर लोड नाउ कमिंग टू द प्री लोड प्री लोड इज योर इन डायस्टोलिक वॉल्यूम विच इन टर्न इन डायस्टोलिक वॉल्यूम विल डिपेंड ऑन वेनस रिटर्न एंड वेनस रिटर्न इन टर्न डिपेंड ऑन टू फैक्टर्स वन इज द राइट एट्रियल प्रेशर एंड द सेकेंड वन इज मीन सिस्टमिक फिलिंग प्रेशर ओके एंड इफ राइट एट्रियल प्रेशर इंक्रीजेज देन द वेनस रिटर्न विल डिक्रीज ओके इट मीन्स ई डी वी विल डिक्रीज एंड इफ मीन systemic filling pressure increases then it will increase filling of the heart by increasing venous return now if we give veno constrictor or arteriolar dilator then it will increase mean systemic filling pressure which will increase venous return because arterial at when arteriole get dilated it will uh, push more blood towards the veins and veins get constricted to push more blood towards the right atrium so your mean filling systemic pressure is increasing which will lead to increase of venous return now in pericardial tamponade and tricuspid valve narrowing in this both right atrial pressure increases so venous return will decrease because pressure within right atrium is increase increased so less blood will go to the increase pressure because anything flows from high pressure to low pressure okay if there is increase in pressure in right atrium then there will be less venous return to the right atrium so cardiac output will decrease now posture affecting in when person stand when comes to a standing position from lying position then venous return also decreases so this is all about preload preload depends on edb edb depends on venous return it will depend on right atrial pressure and mean systemic filling pressure and we have discussed the clinical points of that now moving to the next part here we will first discuss after load after load is mean after load is by aortic pressure okay pressure within the aorta which is resisting the output of the blood from the left ventricle aortic pressure depends on two factor that is the elasticity of aorta and volume inside the aorta okay in arthrosclerosis elasticity of aorta is lost so cardiac output will also get decreased by decreasing the stroke volume when peripheral resistance increases it will increase aortic pressure which will increase after load and it will decrease your stroke volume okay because if peripheral resistance increases then more blood will accumulate in aorta and if volume inside aorta will increase then aortic pressure will increase then after load will increase and after load will decrease your stroke volume now coming to the contractility there are two types of contractility your homometric contraction and heterometric homometric means length is same Con- force of contraction increases and in heterometric length will change and this homometric contraction occurs by two method either by sympathetic stimulation to the ventricle or by beneficial effect and the heterometric contraction is guided by starling law in which increase in end diastolic volume will increase your force of contraction okay so this is all about the factors affecting cardiac output particularly stroke volume now moving to the heart rate in this first is your brain with reflex okay when blood volume increases then it will then there are uh, before that we should discuss about the venoatrial receptors they are the mechanoreceptors present at the junction of vein and right atrium so when blood volume increases it will stimulate venoatrial receptors it will activate venoatrial receptors which will send vagal efferent to vagal nuclei dmn and na dorsal motor nucleus and nucleus ambiguous and this efferent will inhibit this dmn and na which will lead to the increase in heart rate because vagal output to the heart get decreased so this is the first and this is also known as brain bridge reflex now second is blood volume increases in right atrium which will lead to the stretching of sa node sa node get stretched mechanically and it will lead to more depolarization because a straight sensitive cation channels will open which will lead to the depolarization of the sa node okay so this is the second method which will affect your heart rate the third one is respiration inspiration usually increases heart rate because the stress receptor present on the lungs 
send input to the vehicle in uh, vehicle nuclei inhibitor input to the vehicle nuclei and once the vehicle nuclei get inhibited it will increase your heart rate and heart rate is also stimulated by parasympathetic flow and sympathetic flow sympathetic flow will increase heart rate and parasympathetic flow will decrease heart rate so this is all about your factors affecting cardiac outputs thank you